must have been a big, big python to be able to catch a bushbuck. Okay, well, Mike's uh, Africa hunting trip just ended because there's snakes here. Mark says, let's go. Let's go. Hey, there you are. There's a big herd of buffalo on the other side of this, so. And who says the devil doesn't exist? Safe. Those cows are not happy that he's down. We're back in Africa this week. Mark DeYoung, uh, he was very gracious last week and allowed me to shoot first. I'd never been to Africa. It was the first time I'd seen Cape Buffalo. I got excited and he said, go get them. And I did. Uh, now it's his turn. We've spotted some bulls. Let's see if Mark can get one. Well, just got off the boat. Everybody's getting gear. Second day, I killed my buffalo yesterday. Now it's Mark's turn. Uh, we got a call this morning from one of the other uh, guys here in this village that they saw four buffalo bulls by themselves. So technically, there could be a big one here. Typically, when they break off like that, there's normally an older bull. So, Mark, you ready to go? I am ready. Awesome. All right. As soon as everybody gets everything, we're gonna start our hike. And yesterday, if it's anything like yesterday, we got a few miles to put on. <laughs> Now he's getting up there, he's wanting to look. We're in what they call the bush and they can't uh, see through this stuff. So if he gets high enough, he'll be able to look around and cover it and see if there's any buffalo around here. Yesterday morning from way on the other side, we spotted two over here. We have no idea what they were. So he's just trying to get a vantage point so he can try to locate something. So they're, they're coming down now. Mark says, let's go. Let's go. And there, uh, there's a big herd of buffalo on the other side of this. So. Could be the ones we saw yesterday that we shot my bull out of, but it may not be because this area is so big out here. There's no telling, or a big bull could have joined yeah, them. So. Could, have, could have mixed it up again. So yeah. we'll go see what's there. One thing I do know is you don't shoot any buffalo unless you don't, unless you don't go where the buffalo are, right? <laughs> That's right. So let's go where the buffalo are. We haven't been where the are. buffalo are today, so let's go, <laughs> let's go look at some buffalo. Yeah, let's go. It's at about a mile. I think it's at about a mile. So we'll huff it over there. Yeah, I mean, at the rate we walked yesterday, a mile is like a little skip. Yeah, a lot less than we put in yesterday. But there would be bulls or even four okay. bulls could have joined So maybe the herd we have yesterday, but we're, we know we've seen bulls that are missing and they were in this area that could be there because we haven't seen them anywhere, so go see. Exactly. So it could be the same herd Mike shot out of. Yes. It but it, maybe we've mixed it up. Yeah. Okay. Because well, yeah. so remember, I saw... That, we, that the guy seen yesterday and today right. that we couldn't find today, so probably they mixed it with this herd. Okay. All right. So we'll go downwind and sun at our back and just walk up through the marsh toward them and see what we can see. Okay. We, we were just talking about it. It's just trying the same concept that we did yesterday. But they were spread out. When we went into the herd with Mike, they were spread out this way. Yeah, These are sure. spread out this way. Yeah. Mm. So you're going to bump the first one or two and you're kind of screwed if they aren't what you want. Yeah. Mm. We'll see from, because often the bulls are on the edges. Mm -hmm. So we'll see, maybe we get lucky. All right, well, let's go. All right. All right. We're getting pretty close. You can see some of them standing up. But there's a bunch of them laying down. 
We're just trying to get up as close as we can before they see us. He's the third one from the left, the one in the back's a bull. We've definitely found a big group again. It might even be part of the group that we shot my bull out of. Uh, we're in range, but we're trying to study him up to find that big bull that we had seen from a distance. If we can find him, I think we're going to get a shot. Yeah, I just looked at it. Look like it's about 89 to the closest one right here. Is he looking at us? Is he even calling in front of him? Gaff just moved to the left. Yeah. That's him standing there, looking at us. He's on him, so. Uh, Are you gonna shoot? Okay. Be ready to. Yeah, he's looking right at us with the calf to the right. Yeah. Pretty low. That looks good. Oh, he's humping bad. I saw him. He tipped right over. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. He only went about 10 yards and That's fell right over. That's a perfect shot. Thank you. Heck yeah. Thank, Thank you. Man. Thank you very much. Well, well done. Thank you. Well done, sir. Thank you. No kidding. We stayed on that one. Now let's shake your hand again. Good. That's awesome. <laughs> So we don't have to chase him through the water. We don't have to haul him out of the water. See that, again, the expert. This is how you <laughs> yeah. do it. You don't shoot him in the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't go very far at all. No, 20 yards. Yeah, yards. I'd say maybe 20 yards, and then he just stood could, there and went boom. I was looking for him, and it was happening so fast. And when you shot, I, I didn't know which one he was. Oh, so oh. I, I didn't know. And then when you guys just said he went down, I could see one laying there. And yeah, right he there. fell right over. Perfect shot. Heck yeah. That bull went right down, but that, that herd is not leaving him. Uh, they just circled him. It's, it's, it's better. We just I wait. I can still hear him over we, there. We just yeah. wait a little bit. Okay. Um, we're going to try and have to uh, just maybe chase them a little bit, but first we wait now. We yeah. just wait, maybe wait they're down their until own. they go, because yeah. it's not safe. Those cows are not happy that he's down. Yeah. And the other bulls will have to make sure that. Are they going to get worse at, at, at now that it's dark? Or? Yeah. yeah they, they, they've, they've got much more confidence when it gets oh, dark. Oh, yeah. Okay. A lot more confidence. Well, I, I was surprised that they. Uh, even when they saw us, they saw us after the shot and they wouldn't break away. Yeah, so, it took us the whole day to get still, close to them. They're, yeah. not, that, <laughs> they're not that far. I can still hear them stomping. In the no, they're nowhere. still here. Yeah, so okay. let's just wait it out a little bit and then okay. hey, we can take it from The there. buffalo's <laughs> dead. There's no rush. Yeah. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. <laughs> He's down. It seems like they've moved off. I can hear them running back there, so it seems pretty safe to walk up to it, but be alert all the time. They, they might not be that far off. Okay. Uh, All right. So it's getting dark as well, and they get more confidence. Everybody's got rounds in the chamber, right? Yep. Yeah. Just make sure we <laughs> put the scopes down low. Yep. Nice. Let's go see. He's up Should there. Have a look. I smell buffalo. There he is. I don't see any breathing or moving. Uh, looks like he's done with. Yeah. Looking good. Woo! Mark, there you go. <laughs> Took a while to get back up well here and get him, but thank you, Mike. Hey, that was awesome. Thank you very much. I enjoyed watching that. That was fun. Kristen, thank you very much for all your help today. Mike, hey, appreciate it. Well done. That's great. That's a nice bull. Yeah, I think we got a little. My rifle's clear, guys. Yep, mine's open. Look at the bosses on him. Yeah. He's he's all filled in solid. He curls back too. Look at that. Yeah. He's a little bit longer than we thought yeah, he was. He's got nice length. Nice length, nice full. No box. ground shrinkage. No. <laughs> Even his body, look at that big body. Right yeah, look yeah, at that. It's a nice bull. Look at that neck. I, oh, I said it when we were standing back there. I think I got to watch an expert go to work because <laughs> that thing ran 25 yards yeah. and went right down. He, he didn't go anywhere. Yeah, Trophy Bonda did his job on that one, didn't it? 
Yeah, I, I, if we ever get him rolled over, I mean, he I humped heavy at the shot. I saw him hump really hard at the shot, so I knew it was a really good shot. But he only went 25 yards, and then I saw him just boom. I mean, he just fell over. It was awesome. Uh, now we don't have the track. 45 seconds, maybe, <laughs> yeah, on maybe. his feet, he was done. Yeah, and he he was just fell over. A lot of blood, blue blood. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and on dry ground. That's a real. That's I'm a real bonus. I'm on my bonus. knees, and I don't feel like everything's getting wet. <laughs> that's a real bonus. Well, that was awesome. That was a great to be here with you, Mike. Hey, no, thank you very much I for getting it. me to come to Africa and hunt some buffalo. Yeah, just give you a change of pace and a whole different experience. It was. It's been it's awesome. It's a heck of an experience. Yeah, it's been Something awesome. Something I'll never forget, I promise no, that. No, great memory. Thank you. Well, when you're hunting here with Jamie Trout Safaris, they've got the game. Uh, I mean, our buffalo hunt came together perfect. Mark and I both killed great bulls. Uh, and we saw lots of buffalo. Now it's time to switch it up a little bit. Going to do something I've never done before, and I'm going to say this a lot on this trip. Well, we're going to hunt some plains game, and the guys are saying they know where some impala are. I'm going to see if we can't find a big ram. What's the plan today? We're going to look for some kudu today, maybe some eden, but probably priority kudu. First question I have, are we going to be dry? Yep. That's what I like. The dry land concessions now. I saw you put a pair of boots on instead of just shoes to go walking in the mud, so I like this. This yep. is my kind of hunt now. <laughs> a little bit sandy, it's a little bit different to the water. All right, uh, so uh, Mark and the guys are gone, right? They're gone already. Are we going to just spot and stalk? We're going to spot and stalk mostly Fukuri this morning. And then if it gets a little bit later, check the water holes. Could you like to drink that time and then make it connect the stalk to that? Sounds like a plan. My first Plains game experience. Let's do it. I'm sure. excited to do this. Yep. All right. Uh, we'll load up and head out of here, right? Good. That's right. All right. Okay. Let's go get him. Hey, the guys are just pulled up. There's a salt lick right here, and they're checking for tracks and looking. This is something new for me. I've never done this. This is a lot thicker than where we were hunting before. Uh, and so what we're trying to do is locate some animals or find a track and maybe go off and stalk it. So we'll see what they find. But it's different. That's for sure. Early in the season, like this, when the grass is still very high and thick, uh, tracking is very, it's getting tough. Even as a rider, because it has a big track, it's still tough. But kudu, for a big animal, is a very small track, and you lose it very easily. Down here at this water hole. And the guys are checking for fresh tracks. You know, there's not a lot of water here, so wherever the water is, they just get so concentrated. They're trying to find kudu tracks. Maybe we can just track down a kudu bull. It doesn't look like they've really hit the water recently, but these guys can see stuff we don't see. You see anything? No. Just some eland tracks from last night and some giraffe. There's some eland, you said? Yeah, but... But late last night, or...? Yeah, no, nothing, nothing fresh to follow. to these channels to have a sip of water. Just gonna check if there's you know, some from the fresh tracks or something down here. The uh, python caught a bushbuck here, and, but they just remained with it, uh, just found the remaining bones. But what usually happens is they swallow it in the, the horns, they puncture it from the inside, and then they die of it. So they, they found, found both, both right dead here. The snake was here too? Yeah. A, see, this is a vertebrae of the snake. Some of the bones, remaining bones of the python, and the neck bone. Must have been a big, big python to be able to catch a bushbuck. Is there a lot of those snakes here? 
There's quite a couple of pythons in the in the in the water, close to the water's edges, yeah. Mm. Quite a few. I think they're harmless to us. They, they what? They're harmless to us. So. Yeah, unless he thinks you're a bush buck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I just did a quick look through here. Saw a ton of elephant sign, uh, elephant tracks, elephant scattered everywhere. Found where a bush buck got ate with by a python and uh, did not see any coup. <laughs> Keep moving around, though it's getting hot now. It's almost 11 o'clock, so getting kind of that middle of the day time. We'll see what we see. Well, we've been hunting hard. Uh, not much luck yet. Came back to camp, wanted to regroup a little bit. Everybody's full. It's time to go back out hunting. You guys ready to go? We are. I'm ready. Well, What's the plan? I think what we're going to do is um, you guys are going to go back to that side where you guys were this morning. Just okay. to that, check that pan. I think there's another pan way out there which, where I want to be the last hour of the day. We go and stop there, we put a chair up What's there. What's your target? What do you get? You... Chasing Roan. We're going to try and chase Roan. We take Elon too. Right. So. We went for kudu this morning and we see Roan. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course. We saw, we saw some kudu, so of course. Yeah. All so right. That's Murphy's Law, I guess. But, um, <laughs> I think we head out this way. You guys are outside. Right. Back there. See you guys at dinner? Yeah. With, kill, kill with, a big one? with game in the back yeah. of the truck. Kudu, <laughs> Roan, tonight. The, the thing about Mark is he says when, he's, when he says he's going to kill something, something's going down. Oh, so no, you, you just cursed me, man. <laughs> <laughs> you just cursed well, me. They just passed over. Luck came our way. We're good. <laughs> all right. Good luck, guys. Right. We'll see you all later. See you back. We're just gonna set up here till dark. It's got a little bit of daylight left and we're not seeing much, so try to see if something will come to this water hole maybe. We're just gonna set up a couple chairs and sit right here. Maybe wanna show up. Well it's getting late in the day and the guys wanted to go set up on a water hole for the last 45 minutes. Not much time left in the day. We get set up, sit down, kind of brush ourselves in a little bit, and all of a sudden I can hear something coming. It sounds like a stampede of horses. I look up and there's a giant herd of eland coming over the hill, running straight down to the water hole, and they're in the water before I could even get my rifle up. And I look right in the middle of the group, a giant bull standing there. Well, we're trying to get it where camera can see them and I can get a shot. Anyway, there's all kinds of females and smaller bulls walking around him and there's just no way to get a shot at him. This was a big bull and we missed an opportunity, but we did the right thing. We didn't have a good shot, so we just didn't force it and we didn't take the shot because they are giant animals and the last thing I want to do was wound one. Well, this trip is just, it's rounding out about as perfect as you could possibly have a trip. Uh, Mark DeYoung has been awesome on this trip and I knew it was going to be fun with Mark because he's been to Africa so many times and he's got so much knowledge. And then we're hunting with Jamie Trout Safaris. Uh, Jamie's guys have been excellent. If you want a great hunt in Africa, I would definitely give them a call. Uh, they've got the game. We got on those Cape Buffalo. That is a great Buffalo area. And then they moved us down where we're hunting Plains game now and we're seeing it. I tell you, the hunting is amazing. Make sure to tune in next week to Savage Outdoors. We're going to be right back here in Namibia, Africa, hunting with Jamie Trout Safaris. We've got more Plains game and lots of tags to fill. The Savage Outdoors is brought to you by Savage Arms, Bushnell Optics, Elite Archery, Hunter Safety System, True Glow, Conquest Sense, Wacom Broadheads, Fusion Ammunition, Nature Blinds, Raptor Razor, and win great hunting prizes and great race values. Enter now at smicorporate.com backslash race to the outdoors.